Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training. And today's little video is going to be basically all the stuff I'm going to use on today slash tonight's uh, marathon. I'm going for my 7th marathon of the year and I've decided it's been hot as crap. I was hoping to run one out in Denver uh, last Sunday. Um, that did not happen, so I decided to run one this afternoon slash evening going to take off fairly late in the afternoon. Uh, my plan right now, if I can catch a ride, I'm going to have somebody drop me off, I don't know, 20 to 25 miles away, something like that on the highway, and then run back towards home. And that way it's a absolute no chance of failing. You have to just get back home kind of thing. So if I can't find anybody, um, give me a ride this evening, I'm going to go ahead and say to heck with it and just drive myself over, drop my car off, and then hopefully get somebody to give me a ride back tomorrow to pick my car up. Or, I don't know how I'm going to, somebody will get me right over there to get my car eventually. So, that's the biggest thing. But anyway, what we're going to do is, tonight I'm going to take off, um, I'm hoping to leave the house here about an hour, maybe an hour and a half before sundown. That'll give me a half an hour drive to about where I need to be. Drop the car off and then run back. Give me about half an hour to an hour running in the sun. As the sun goes down, I should hopefully have a nice beautiful sunset, my goal, and then it should start dropping in temperature as I run home. So, I have my... Running shorts, my running shirt, I went with bright colors. they got the, lots of yellow on it. Hopefully, less likely to get run over. The, um, the highway I'm planning right now to run has a nice shoulder on it, so I'll be able to stay away from traffic when needed. Always run into traffic, regardless day or night. You always want to be able to face the drivers coming at you. That way, you can kind of see. They're making eye contact. If you look up, you can tell they're not texting on their phone. They're not looking. They're not paying attention. And they're drifting towards you. It'll give you a much better chance of jumping out of the way. If you're running with traffic you will have no clue they're about to hit you until they've actually hit you because you won't see them coming. So with a bike, you ride with traffic, but you have mirrors. Running, you don't have mirrors, so you run into traffic. So I'm going to give you a breakdown. Shorts, shirt, brightly colored. That bright yellow should hopefully draw some attention. Although the shirt's going to be covered up a lot with my hydro pack, which I'll get to in a minute. I have some sunscreen here. This is only SPF 30, but I'm only going to be in the sun for roughly an hour, so it won't be that big a deal. Um, over here, I have my road ID um, bracelet. has some emergency contact information on it, which is always great in case you get hit by a car. I will also be running my road ID app on my phone, which will track my phone. Um, some people can check it out. I love that app. Best thing you can get. It's a free app. Love the thing. If you stop moving for five minutes or more, it sends out text to people that you have on your list to tell them I want to check on you to make sure you're okay. So, Next down, I have my watch, which I'm going to go throw on the charger again. Right now, it's setting about... 70% power, and that's plenty fine, but I just don't want to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the charger, pop it up to 100%. My heart uh, monitor band, you got to love that thing. It's great. Then I have here is my foods. Yes, M&M's, peanut M&M's. I love them on runs. Salted peanuts, also a great little thing for a run. Nice little travel pack. And then I have four goos, and then I have just a little honey from Popeye's Chicken. So honey is actually a great little source of energy, super quick little energy. I eat them on runs off and on, not that big a deal. So far, I just got in eating a um, honey-covered um, raisin bagel. Hopefully, that will help me a little bit of energy there, too. Then up here a little bit, I have Squeaky Cheeks, which is an amazing product. It's like a talcum powder type thing, but there's no cakey residue. There's none of that junk. It's absolutely amazing. And that's what's actually in this bag here. I put in some. I shake and bake it like you would chicken. Shake it up. It gets all of your socks and your underwear. I let it set in there for a few hours amazing i love that stuff it's got a little um minty smell to it also so you gotta love that next up i have my ultras i'm gonna run my marathon today in my ultras my blues they're instinct 1.5 if i remember right i think what these are yeah 1.5s great shoe i love the wide toe box i wish they had a little more padding in the heel because i am a heel striker they also have the um yanks laces i absolutely love those laces also they, as your feet swell in long runs, um, you don't have to worry about loosening your shoes. If you get a rock or something in there, you can pop them out real quick. You just pull your shoe off, pop right back on. It's never a problem. Don't forget your foot pod if you have one for your Garmin watch. Tracks your steps. Great little thing there. I'm a big fan of it. Then over here, this is going to be my first long run in my new Hydro Pack from Camelback. This thing is going to be the real testament. I ran in it yesterday for like six and a half miles, somewhere in that ballpark range. Was not a big fan of it. There was a few things I wasn't really ha happy about, but I'm going to go ahead and just say to hell with it tonight. I'm going to run in this thing and come hell or high water, I'm going to make it. The main reason I'm taking it is it has a lower lumbar support bladder, which is it's actually in the freezer right now with ice in it. So I'm getting that baby ready. It's got that little setup there. 
and it keeps the weight lower on my body. But the big thing is on the front, it has bottle holders up here too. So I'm gonna be able to take a couple extra bottles with me, which will be amazing. I'm gonna love the extra water source. It's gonna be great. I am gonna also store some, I'm gonna hide some water on the side of the highway about halfway that I can refill my hydro, refill my bottles. And I think one bottle is gonna be Gatorade maybe, some tea or something different, not just water the whole time. So the other thing is this little back pouch here will hold like raincoats, that kind of stuff if you need it. But what I'm doing, because I will be running at night, is I'm throwing in my light here. That's just going to bounce around in the back of that thing. And I'm going to basically, as it gets dark, I'll pop that thing on. Love the light. I also have another one up here in the front somewhere. I've got one right here. This one will actually, um, will actually get clipped out here on the front. It actually has a belt clip where the one in the back, the belt clip has been broke. So that's just a cheap light I got a long time ago. Going to run with my head sweat um, hat. I'm a big fan of the hat. Definitely a big fan of that. I have my... Um, little key holder which will go in there it has just a single car key in it so i can get the car back open again to carrying all my keys my keychain no reason for that carry the single key that's all i need the gutter which this thing is amazing fits right underneath just right above your eyebrow line and the sweat actually runs right down this little groove and then runs back off the side and runs down the side of your face behind your eyes by your ears it doesn't get on your face it, it doesn't work 100 percent, but it's it works really really well Next over here, I have my headphones I will be using for the run. I always carry a spare set of headphones on long runs because you never know when you're going to grab a branch or something and hook one of these and break it. Happens quite a bit. I'm also going to try and put my iPod Touch in my Camelback today instead of my pocket, my iPhone in the other pocket. See how that works out for me. We'll have to, it'll be the first time trying it. So I want the extra headphones in case I rip the cord taking the hydro pack off. I don't break it. So then back up here to my front headlamp is this little thing here. It has a red light design, which I'll probably have on early on before it gets real dark so people can see me. I do actually mount that on the top of my hat here. And by doing it on the top of my hat, yes, I do attract a few more bugs when it's in the white light setup. I've got projection, wide flood, or all three, which I run the all three setup. That has new batteries just three runs ago. So it's got plenty of power. If I was really concerned if I was going out timber running or like a 24 hour run, I would definitely be carrying extra batteries. I'm not going to be gone that long. Not that big a deal. The side of the highway, worst case scenario, I mean, I, I, I can see enough with the other lights. The next light over here is this little light right here. This thing is amazing. It came in a um, kit with a headlamp and a tail light for a bike. It has a little silicone deal. This one I actually hook on the back of my hat, ironically. Hook it right here on the back and it kind of hangs down. People can see me from the back. So I'm going to have two red flashing lights facing backwards, which won't be as big a deal because I'm running into traffic so they won't see as much. And I'm going to have two red lights facing forward and this big bright headlamp all facing forward. So it's one of those things where I actually feel sometimes safer running the highway at night because people see the light a lot more, especially flashing light. And I think the flashing light gets people's attention a lot more than just a constant light does. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just go have fun tonight is my big goal. I plan on being out there for probably, I don't know, four and a half, five hours, something like that. So that's why I have the extra food. I usually eat something every hour, which would be, you figure, one, two, three, four go um, goos, and then two peanuts, and then a honey. So I'm getting plenty of food to get back home. Not a problem at all. And there is a small town between the two I'm coming running with a convenience store that might be open. I'm not sure. Depending on the time I start, might still be open. I always carry a um, $10 bill or $20 bill in my iPod case. It's in there 24 7 always. You never know when you might want that. I'm going to make sure my iPod's fully charged, my phone's fully charged, and make sure somebody knows where I'm going. That's what that app's going to do. It's going to be able to track it and all that good stuff. So basically, I'm going to have two liters of water in the bladder, um, another full liter of water in the two bottles up front. I'm going to hide probably just, I don't know, might have a half gallon jug. I've got a half gallon jug.